All righty. Um, it feels so good to be making like almost daily videos again. This feels weird for me, but like I'm just like really happy about it. Um, but let's start it off. Spinovator is receiving a fresh coat of paint, so that's really exciting. Um, what else is going on over here? I don't know what I'm looking at when I went over there. Oh, probably the top of Canterbury Theater. Um, brickwork is being laid down in front of Leviathan. Kind of expected that, because if anyone remembers Winterfest, the brickwork was a little bit damaged over there. They are moving really quickly over here in the restaurant area, so they are still just doing electrical and little bit of work um, in the foundation area of the restaurant, and then they're getting ready to fill it in, um, as you're seeing there. So that's exciting because it's going to go up really quickly as soon as they finish the cement on the actual flooring. But the Coke refresh station is going up really quickly. Um, but as you can see, still only one wall. But um, it's going to look amazing. I hear it looks massive in person. So we're really excited to... Um, get on in there and check it out in person sometime soon. Um, but yeah, everything's looking amazing. They're moving pretty quickly on the other buildings. Even I'm, I'm going to show you guys a new foundation that's poured down by Slingshot. That's even starting to move pretty quickly as well. We are expecting um, the... Uh, so right there, there's the foundation for a new building. We are expecting the Cookie Witch building to be coming back as well. Um, we are starting to hear slight rumblings that there may be... Um, a pause on what was expected for Wonder Mountain's Guardian, but we'll keep our ears peeled and let you guys know um, any updates at all so that we could actually not see um, one of those upgrades that we thought were coming this year to Wonder Mountain's Guardian, or it's going to come a little bit after opening. Um, but we'll keep you posted. Shockwave has work going on it. Still no answer on if there was a per reason for it being removed from the map or if it was just one of those honest mistakes. Um, but we will ask and try and get an answer for you. Uh, Yukon Striker is uh, having its trains worked on, getting ready to run this weekend. So you'll see it running Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, for training. So that's really exciting. Uh, can't wait to get shots of that. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, a really exciting time. Um, all the rides are up. Leviathan is obviously postponed. It was supposed to run this weekend that just passed. Um, and we're hearing that it's most likely going to run actually the last weekend before opening. Um, so not even this weekend. So we're expecting Leviathan to be running uh, not this weekend, but the next one. Um, so a little bit of a delay there with Leviathan. Um, Yukon Striker will be running this weekend. And I think that's about it um in terms of updates uh there's lots of park improvements going on around the park you're going to see as we were talked about in video like two to three weeks ago there are a lot of paint touch-ups roofing tile touch-ups just lots of general park enhancements um really hoping behemoth sees something again just because the park is testing the ride doesn't mean they can't paint it a lot of parks will do it right before opening it takes about two to three days to paint a roller coaster so it wouldn't be weird to see it being painted right before open uh, as you can see the flagpoles are being reinstalled on top of front gate and they're still doing all the new tiles on international street but as you can tell from the beginning of the video to just now about 25 minutes worth of flying the drone i edited it down to like four minutes you can see that they're making a very good progress on that coke reef fresh station over by Vortex's drop, uh, installing that roof pretty quickly. And where you see that orange conveyor is probably where the Cookie Witch is going to go, as we can see them digging into the foundation. Um, lumber and roofing tiles and bricks and everything and even some theming have been arriving uh, for the new restaurant area. So that's pretty exciting as well. Lots of little knickknacks in there as well that we're trying to figure out what everything is and where everything's going to go. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Um, you guys can get a really cool up close shot of everything in there with the drone. Honestly, love this drone. Anyways, thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching our videos, hitting that like button and commenting. Um, it means a lot and it really helps. So thanks so much for supporting the channel. Have a good one, guys. Bye.